Hi, my name's Dan, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you six riffs that use the Dorian mode. My last lesson was on the Dorian mode, and I'm just going to give you a very quick recap on what that is. A Dorian mode is the second mode of a major scale. So if we're in the key of C, the Dorian scale will start on D. That's how it sounds. And the real thing that makes it Dorian is the interval structure. It's got a minor third, a minor seventh. And a major sixth that gives it that character, that sound. That's as far as I'm going to go into the theory because I'm going to dive straight into the songs here. If you want to learn about that, I'll put a link to the other one. But the first one is John Klingberg's brilliant line in Moon Dance, Van Morrison's Moon Dance. It goes like this. Now, just starting off already, if you know the natural minor scale, A, B, C. Those are the notes I'm using at the moment. You would think, well, that's natural minor, but then he does this thing. And there's an F sharp in there, the note on the fourth fret of the D string. So. And that's the dead giveaway. That from the root is a major sixth, and it's that note that gives it its Dorian quality, okay? That's a classic song that uses the Dorian mode. Next is Stick It Out by Rush, Geddy Lee. Now it starts off, it's in D this one, D Dorian. And again, we've got a D, E, F, and an A. So far, doesn't really give us any clues. Could be D natural minor there. That's the note there, the B. If you play a Dorian mode, here's a shape for it. I'm going D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. When you go to that B, that's the dead giveaway that this is Dorian. By the way, he's using all kinds of fuzz and octave on that, and it sounds it sounds so evil. That I usually associate Dorian with sounding quite light, quite funky, but you know, Getty shows us there that you can use it in rock. I've spoken about the Dorian mode loads of times in my videos, and I always use this as an example. That is just the Dorian mode, just ascending it. So it's E Dorian, so that would be the key of D major it comes from and show you the notes of this. So E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, and then E. I'm playing the open strings on the fifth fret there. So. The Dorian mode is exactly the same as the natural minor scale, except the sixth note is raised. If you play good times, not using the Dorian, but using the natural minor, it sounds like this. Just wrong. Cool scale, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have that edgy, funky flavour to it. Good times, brilliant riff. I'm going to put a bonus seventh in here because there's another Bernard Edwards tune that I did last week. Dance, dance, dance. It's in F. That uses the F Dorian, really funky again. Next we have If You Have To Ask by Red Hot Chili Peppers off Blood Sugar Sex Magic. And that album is littered with Dorian riffs. But this one, it's actually down the octave on a five string that goes... And it's that bit. It's another D Dorian. As soon as you hear or see a major sixth against these minor notes, you know it's Dorian. Chili Peppers were very influenced by George Clinton and Parliament and bands like that, and they used the Dorian mode all the time. Okay, I'll do another quick bonus, which is from the same album. A Dorian this time. A, C, D, E, little hammer. C, D. G, A. 
Just going up the notes of the scale, A, B, C, D, and B, C. When you're playing a root note, in this case A, make sure you know where that major sixth is above the note and also below the note. So that it's it'll, three frets down from the A. That tells you, when you hit that, that tells you Dorian. So we've had rock, a bit of funk, a bit of funk rock, and now jazz. This is a very famous Paul Chambers bass line off the Miles Davis album, Kind of Blue. D Dorian this time. I've got a video lesson on how to play this one. It's a good one to play. He goes on D Dorian for a while and then goes up to E flat Dorian. And he does a lot of walking on the Dorian mode as well. It's a mode you hear a lot in jazz. Next we have Dave Hope's bass line on Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. This is something, I heard this first on a Dream Theater album, Change of Seasons, which is amazing. They do a medley. I didn't know it was Kansas till years later, but this is a really good one. It starts off with a really good minor pentatonic riff in A. Just minor pentatonic is such a great classic rock sound. Then it goes into the main Dorian riff. Again, it's that note, three frets down from the root. This is F sharp in this case. That's the one that tells you it's Dorian. So A, G, A, C there. And again, instead to D at the end. There's a little slide from the fifth to seventh fret, D to E on the A string to the G on the fifth fret of the D string. And then back down E, D, C. Then we've got D, G. That's to that major sixth. Always know the scale so that you can play it very quickly off the root note. Go back and listen to these songs and then play whatever key you're in. Play the Dorian off that and you'll hear that it fits. Then just as a little contrast, lower that major sixth to play a minor sixth and a natural minor scale and see how wrong it sounds when you just change that one note. That'll get you conditioned to the Dorian mode and what it does. So in terms of scales and sounds to get under your fingers, the Dorian mode is, I think, quite at the top of the list, really. Major scale, natural minor scale, they're your bread and butter. Know those first for, for no other reason than they're used probably the most in music, but also your modes come from the major scale. So once you have a very good grasp of that, it's very easy to, to understand the modes. Hopefully you can take this information and come up with your own music, make up your own riffs, make up your own music with this fantastic sounding mode. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.